This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at intermolecular forces. We'll start by looking at London dispersion forces. Due to the constant motion of electrons, an atom or molecule can develop a temporary or instantaneous dipole. The molecule on the left has an instantaneous dipole. At a point in time, all the electrons might be on one side of the atom or molecule, giving one side of the atom or molecule a temporary negative dipole. The other side of the molecule will therefore have a temporary positive dipole. A molecule with an instantaneous dipole can induce a dipole in another molecule, which is called an induced dipole. The combination of instantaneous dipoles and induced dipoles result in London dispersion forces between molecules. Next we look at the effect of increasing molar mass on the boiling point of the diatomic molecules in group 17. If we look at the molar mass, we can see that as we go from fluorine to chlorine to bromine to iodine, the molar mass is increasing. If we look at the boiling point, we can see that it is also increasing. So from this we can see that as the molar mass of a molecule increases, so does its boiling point. And the reason for this is that as the molar mass increases, the strength of the London dispersion forces between the molecules also increases and this results in a higher boiling point. Next we look at dipole-dipole forces. Dipole-dipole forces occur between polar molecules. They are molecules that have a net dipole moment. The example we have here is hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is a polar molecule because of the difference in electronegativity between hydrogen and chlorine. This gives the chlorine atom a negative dipole and the hydrogen atom a positive dipole. The dipole-dipole force is the electrostatic attraction between the positive and negative dipoles in the molecules. And finally, we look at hydrogen bonding. Hydrogen bonding occurs when a hydrogen atom is bonded to either a nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine atom. Here we have three examples of molecules that can form hydrogen bonds. Each of these molecules has a hydrogen atom either bonded to an oxygen, a nitrogen or a fluorine atom. Here we can see hydrogen bonds between water molecules. The hydrogen bond is between the positive dipole on the hydrogen atom and the lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom. Because of hydrogen bonding, water has a much higher boiling point when compared to other molecules with similar molar masses. In this graph, we can compare the boiling points of the group 14 and the group 16 hydrides. Starting with group 16, we can see that H2O has a much higher boiling point compared to the other group 16 hydrides. The big difference in boiling point is due to the fact that H2O can form hydrogen bonds between its molecules. The increasing boiling point between H2S and H2TE is due to the increase in molar mass. This results in stronger London dispersion forces between the molecules and an increase in the boiling point. Next, we look at the trend in boiling point for the group 14 hydrides. Starting with methane, which is a non-polar molecule and only has weak London dispersion forces between the molecules. So as we go from CH4 to SNH4, we can see that the boiling point increases. This is due to the increase in molar mass and the stronger London dispersion forces between the molecules. So let's end with a summary. So we'll start with non-polar molecules, which only have London dispersion forces. Examples include Cl2, H2, N2 and O2. All these examples are gases under standard conditions because of the weak London dispersion forces between the molecules. Next, we have polar molecules, which have London dispersion forces and dipole-dipole forces. Examples include HCl, HCN and CHCl3. These are all polar molecules and have a net dipole moment. And finally, we have molecules with a hydrogen atom bonded to a nitrogen, oxygen or fluorine atom. These have London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole forces and hydrogen bonding between molecules. Because these molecules are able to form hydrogen bonds, they tend to have higher boiling points when compared to molecules with similar molar masses.